Hello and welcome back to Space Hulk with me, Pew Pew Choo Choo. So, uh, last time we finished Mission 2, today we'll be checking out Mission 3. Uh, so without further ado, let us load this up. Our assault cuts deeper into the Hulk, but one of our cyber-altered task units has been lost in the zone beyond our perimeter. We must have the information it carries, for failure in this will bring ruin to all. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. Two squads are at your command. You will deploy your terminators here. Scans have detected Gene Stealer presence in these areas. You must retrieve the 40 CAT. The enemy seem to know what we intend. They approach. Okay, so this looks like it'll be a bit of a exploration mission, as well as a little bit of a, a retrieval mission as well. So let's see how this goes. Now I believe you're actually able to uh, block out the gene stealers' spawns with one of our troops if the uh, if the last mission proves correct so we're going to try that and let's see now we actually have two deployment locations for uh two different squads actually have gideon over here and we also have lorenzo well i think we'll get gideon to deploy right over here and let's get uh two teams going on here so we'll have one team here which is going to proceed into uh this area and then we're going to have one squad try to uh, block out this spawn right here. So that'll be that squad. And Lorenzo, I suppose, will deploy his men um, over here. So we're going to get the Flamer first. Uh, Flamer is then going to be followed by two other guys with a um, sword and gun. Actually, let's go Flamer, sword, gun, and then one guy over here i suppose so let's go with something like that because it looks like we're supposed to uh retrieve this thing i believe we're somewhere around here the cat in position okay well let's begin so starting off from here we want to uh we want to block out the gene stealers so let's get our uh Space Marine to start moving its way this way. And we'll get the rest of these people to uh, start moving its way forward now. Clear a path. Move. So they'll go forward like that. And over here, we do have to find the cat first, which is a little problematic, but it should be fine. Do we have uh, any indications of where these gene stealers are going to come from yet? No. Okay. Uh, this guy has the cat. Okay, well, in that case, let's get all of these people to start moving up. The squad should teleport it, uh, or rather, when we essentially get the cat out uh, it should automatically finish the mission so we don't actually need to uh, we don't actually need to bring all of the troops back so with that said what I think I'll do is that I'll get people to start setting up defenses as we progress along here and as we do that we will just uh, try to sneak the cat out like that okay so let's see um, this guy right here he's going to maintain overwatch over there we're going to get uh, this particular Space Marine column to just continue going forward. Moving. And then over here, what we'll do is uh, we will move up the column. No, don't take a turn around, face them. Yes, my lord. And we'll get him to put up his shield. And in the meantime, this column right here is going to uh, move forward and try to uh, 
clear a path. Link up with uh, that other squad. So let's see how this goes. Targets. Cleanse the monstrosity. The machine spirits guide my fire. Yeah, that hammer guy is really, really good at uh, melee combat. Fall by my hand. Oh, we even get an achievement for uh, taking out so many of them. Perfect. Now, this guy should be on Overwatch, so uh, rather we should set him on Overwatch. Let's get him to do that. Let them come. I mean, there's no real penalty for uh, losing our guys, so... Just continue moving up here. Yes, brother, moving. So this, uh, inside this little column, we should be able to block out these uh, spawns soon. So we're going to try to do this. Move this guy up, get him to uh, smack down this guy. Purge the Cena's built. And I believe as soon as we move very close to these uh, spawners, it will uh, effectively block them out, I believe. Prepare no, maybe yourself, it was brothers. just, uh, it was only inside the second mission, so we're going to keep him there. Um, from the looks of it, he's pretty good at melees, uh, due to his hammer and shield combo. It actually looks like inside the side panel here, he, because of his, uh, hammer and shield combo, he gets yes, a plus Commander. two to his dice rolls, making him, um, quite tough, quite robust in battle, so... Um, these two guys should be covered this area fine by themselves and uh, well, I guess uh, there goes our plan for blocking out the spawns instead We will just try to uh, Really hold them back because there isn't really not a penalty for losing our guys apart from the fact that um, Well, you do obviously want to go for the highest score Okay, so let's see uh, what exactly is here. Um, so there's two different groups here, and then the call on the the hallway here works rather oddly. Let's see. Moving to target coordinates. Moving to target coordinates. There we go, nicely done. He'll be able to uh, shield himself like that. And that'll keep uh, that group occupied. In the meantime, our flamer should be able to come up here. Moving. And we'll get the uh, cat moving as well. And what we'll do is uh, we'll set up a, uh, a overwatch just like this. With all due haste. And we'll just uh, essentially Let proceed forward come. like this. My aim is true. Without death, there can be no sacrifice. Oh, so close. Okay, well that's fine. I mean, we uh, we did test him, and he was able to handle quite a lot of people. Now this hallway section here will be a little bit of a problem. It doesn't look like they're going to get any reinforcements anytime soon, though, so that's fine. And we got a good roll on our, uh, our CP values. So here, what we'll do is that we'll get the flamer to move up. And now let's rotate the camera and see if the door will uh, be able to open anytime soon. With his heavy flamer, we can... Uh... Let's do this. Let's get the flamer to start flaming this area. 
and that'll effectively set up the area as a little bit of a blocker here and we'll get him to move to the side at that point Noctis will uh, come up and he'll be ready for some combat there and uh, along with him Goral will uh, also move up and is there uh, any spawns down here? No, not yet. So we'll get uh, this guy to move. Oh, no, we want him to uh, backstep his way over here. No, that's not what we wanted to do. There we go, finally. So he's going to try to backstep <coughs> his way over there. Just like that. And we're going to end the turn like that. Oh, I see, that door was actually jammed. My bulljaz failed me. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So this guy's weapon is jammed. Or jammed. Unjamming weapon. So he is in a, uh, a little bit of a jiffy here, we're really going to have to take out these things. Yeah, these bolters are definitely not very good in the right fire roll. Okay, there we go, one more, one successful attack, that is good. Over here, we can get the flamer to uh, effectively broil this guy down. So let's set fire to that. Now the flamer can go around corners, which is uh, really rather nice. So that's going to help us out there. But um, over here, we're going to have to brawl down these guys. A righteous kill. Well, would you like that? First time too, that's good. See if we will have the same luck here. Death demands vengeance. Okay, two down. That's good. This guy will uh, he'll turn, and his uh, ally will also turn. Going into Overwatch. And they'll uh, they will fall. They'll go into Overwatch for now. Now over here, what we want to do is that uh, we want to get one person. One person is going to step up, step up to the plate here. And the cat and the flame will then go up. Haste. And we'll continue. To, we will uh, continue to back up over here. So that should be good. And let's see what happens now. Yeah, close attack here. Let's see what'll happen. Okay, that's fine though, we managed to get the, uh, the second shot off. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. So this guy can turn. He'll fire off first. And we're just going to use his move midpoints to take out that guy. And then from there, we'll get the flame of the loop. There we go, so he's down. And then we'll get the flamer to move up uh, two, three towers. Get him to move three towers up here. And the flamer goes into action. This will be able to burn out that corner, which is going to be uh, quite helpful. So yeah, that's going to get rid of uh, whatever was back there. And we can get this guy to move up. Long. 
And I think I'll get this guy to uh, cover our backside just like that. He will kill that guy. It's actually quite a few uh, guys over there. Now this uh, this assault weapon, this uh, auto cannon, seems to be able to take these guys down much easier. And now I guess we'll get this guy to uh, we'll try shooting him down, yeah. Alright, so he's going to open a passageway over there. And over here now we can get uh, this guy to start moving forward. Clear a path. We'll hold the ground over here. Stay alert. And now the cat will be able to move forward, which is going to be nice. And we'll just go like that. Okay, well, it doesn't look Target. like they will be uh, spawning any people this time. Yeah, so I believe we are oh, they're spawning over here. Okay, I see. So we do have a little bit of a free turn now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this guy to move Taking forward. Position. And he'll be able to hold off these two spawns, provided that we do clear the doors. Now are these uh, are these actually doors or just passageways? These are passageways, alright. So he has a he has full line of sight. Uh, with that said, we can get the cat and the flamer to move up. That flamer uh, is actually, it's becoming one of our most valuable uh, weapons. What we can do is that uh, we can get our guys to set up like this and then, uh. Moving. Yeah, move really just like that. Over here, we'll turn on, uh, we're no, we'll shoot once. And then we'll turn on Overwatch. Cleanse the monstrosity secured. And that should be good over there. And then end the turn once more. We have contact. Oh. That guy managed to move forward really, really fast. Okay, over here. Two groups. Overwatch. And then uh, in the event, just as a safety precaution, because these guys um, inside this hallway will be covering these two entrances, we will get Sergeant Lorenzo to cover um, Brother Deno over here. These guys are just going to hold. And our troop over here should be able to, uh, to really move it. Yeah, there we go. Now over here we do have some extra points that we can spend. Oh, we're out of ammunition actually. Reload, come on. Full ammunition, let's see if we can take this out. This is going to uh, default. Oh, crap. The uh, the assault cannon barrel was hot and actually, um, if you recall from the second mi mission when we were introduced to the uh, assault cannon, if it uh, if it malfunctions, the actual marine carrying it will just essentially die, unlike the jamming uh, effect. Well, at least that cleared up the tile, so it's going to make it a clear passage for us to get our our cat over there. But uh, unfortunately, that will cost us one marine. Damn it! That uh, that auto can was actually quite a good weapon. We have movement. My bolter has failed. Unjamming weapon. Okay, that area should be secure now. Now. What I'll do is that I'll get the flamer to actually move up um, four tiles facing this way. Yeah. The cat I'm going to go to uh, go around after the flamer has moved. F 
flamer is going to move. He has enough ammunition to set this uh, little area on fire, so we will. And that'll stall up the Xenos, or at least kill them. And then we can get uh, our people moving just like that. And we can also get some movement Clear a here. Path. Weapon. I stand my ground. The Emperor is my shield. Just like that. Target. Hmm, no movement this time, so that's good. Uh, once again, we're just going to use up the flame rounds here. So yeah, that'll give us a nice little scorch over here. Let them. Secure. And that should finish off this turn. So, uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, there's going to be a large stockpile of uh, Xenos. Maybe for all time. Avenge me, my brothers. Okay. So what we can do now is that we'll shift that person over here. And he'll cover. Come. Set fire once more to uh, this location. And at that point, he'll move back a few tiles. Scipio here Let will be able come. to go on to uh, Overwatch. And the CAT should be able to finish um, off the mission in two turns now. So we'll go like that. Yikes, another close assault. Yeah, that's going to be uh, not very good. They are really, really pouring through now, but we should be able to finish this mission right now. So you'll see here that, I mean, once one part of our defense starts to falter, the rest kind of uh, falls apart. Now, I believe once we do that, the mission will be over, so at least uh, our our dead terminators were able to buy us enough time to complete the mission they did not lose their uh, lives in vain so uh yeah we have done this one i'll be uh, back for mission four as always i'll see you guys later on be sure to like and subscribe